Let's get back to the action here at the 2018 NWCA All-Star Classic, only on Fox College Sports. Abby Nettiburs versus Erica Mahalia from Missouri Baptist. Abby Nettie from Emmanuel. Love the walkout, Larry. I love the walkout. Isn't that something? They got the light, the smoke, the music. Here comes Mahalika, the California native. She was All-American placing fourth last year in the WCWA. That's the W. CWA is the sanctioning body for women's wrestling at this point. Collegiate women's wrestling. Back to freestyle again. Both of these girls, all Americans, once again. Um, Hundred and thirty pound weight class. And these guys, let me tell you, they're all muscle, these girls. Yeah, they are. You know there was a time when when uh, the thought was that the techniques that a a woman would use would be different than those that a man uses because of their physicality. But you look at these girls, oh, man, they're just nice. really well built. Nice double and drive out by Nettie. She represented the uh, United States on the world team, on the uh, U23 world team, the age group junior world team. How about Adeline Gray winning for her fourth world championship? Speaking about women's wrestling, nice little, she ran the pipe, Nettie, got in on that single, ran that pipe, got another two. She's hot, and here comes the gut wrench. Exposed her opponent's back. That's all you got to do in freestyle. Picked up two points, so it's a quick 6-0 for Nettie. You know, the fabulous Christy Davis is the coach for Abby Nettie. She won nine world medals, couple world championships as well. She's, Unbelievable. She's tied with Bruce Baumgartner for most world medals. Unbelievable. I mean, you know, you, you have such, such, I mean, an uh, incredible set of women wrestlers from the past that have paved the way for, for, for women like Nettie. You're right, you're right, exactly. And Erica. Well, now she's got the two-on-one and that inside leg kick. Trying to get Nettie out of position. When you got that 6-0 lead, it's a really nice advantage, though. You don't have to, you don't have to take much risk. Nettie with that single, getting it to the top. She's got it locked out, her ankle locked out, and then he finishes. Now it's 8-0. Remind the Viewers, a 10-0 ends the match, and that is what happened. Nettie, Nettie came out to wrestle. She, she put it to bed early. Yeah. Started with that double on the edge of the mat. And no doubt. And, and you know what? She continued to work hard that whole match and, uh, you know, and ended up getting that tack in first period. Fantastic job with Yusuf Amida. Amida, you know, was a state champion in, in New York. And out comes Derek White. This is the battle of the titans, literally. Derek the, White. The size. Derek White is very, very tiny, very small guy. That's what I like about Derek. Very, very fleet on his feet. Look at the size of him. Oh, my God. It's a, it's a game of, game of a lot of things, but technique's one of them. Let's we'll see how the technique and the power combine here. 
go back to his high school day. And listen, this isn't something new to Derek White's success. Being in, in, on this stage, he's a two-time, three-time finalist in Oklahoma, two-time state champ. And like I, we had mentioned, Amit is a state champ in New York. Nice, nice little duck into like a little scoot, boot scoot. He, at this weight, I mean, I can't even <laughs> believe the athlete that Derek White is. Hamada just shrugged it off, though. Hamid is, let me tell you, Hamid is like 6'7", six, 6'8". Six, I mean, he's, he's tremendous. These, these are two big men. I, I got news for you, Larry. I love you, but if these guys start coming my way, <laughs> I'm, I'm leaving you for dead. Okay. Well, we got, <laughs> we got Kerry McCoy between us and them. Maybe he can help deflect it. Kerry McCoy better help out. Oh, he's got him jacked up with that underhook. Looking for that little throw by it. Oh, nice high crotch by Derek White. Now he's running the pipe on that single. Pretty nice stuff. See if he could finish it now. He hit that beautiful shot. Let's see if he can he could finish it. No. And Amita comes up big. Nothing yet. Nothing. Oh, and a nice bat. No. Nothing. Look at these guys. I cannot believe what I'm witnessing. Wasn't that awesome? I mean, these guys, <laughs> these guys are wrestling like. 25 pounders. Dirk White is wrestling like Nick Piccinini out there. <laughs> well, we're halfway through that first period. We've seen more action in this match than just about any other match. Um, and it's the heavyweights. This is not your old, your father's heavyweights. Dirk White's got to get that point, though, to get back in this before the end of the round. Yeah, Derek, Derek White needs to get a point here. Oh. Which he, that was pretty, which, which he that does. That was pretty risky, but it worked for him. That limp arm high crotch was just awesome. Uh, <laughs> I thought for sure he was going to have enough position to score. Did you see the way he turned into that high crotch yeah. with that underhook? It was, it I was mean, great. just just as i mean just unbelievable but, but you know it, you got to give credit to me to me defended he, he did his and range scored. his range is unbelievable and, and, and. and there it is the end of the first round four to one amita they're breathing hard i'm breathing hard watching them <laughs> <laughs> Larry, these guys, I mean, think about the athletes these guys are. Well, it's a pleasure to see them do their work. White's going to pull within one here if he gets this escape. And, yeah. And then it's just a takedown. They can't hit him. They can't hit him. He is attempting. Amita did not stop oh wrestling. Oh my good if that was freestyle, that was four right there. But uh, great job, great job. Are I, these guys heavyweights? Are you sure? I can't believe it. We've got to weigh these. They're... That kind of looked like Kerry McCoy personified there. Yusuf Amita is on a mission this yeah, year. I mean, yeah, he is, yeah. I mean, he is really looking solid. Still, still very close. It's about halfway through the regulation match. Slowing down a little bit now, Nick. Are they slowing down a little bit? Slowing down a little bit, but you know what? Um, these th let's let's look at these two guys. These two guys are probably top five. Both of them are top five heavyweights in the country. So. Their explosiveness, Larry, and the, the, the ability to score very quickly is, is there. So even though the match is slowed up, the pace is slowed up a little bit, you know, you still have to be focused and you still have to be ready for anything. And, and uh, you got a minute left in the second period, 4-3, great match, great action. Um, you know, for anyone that thinks heavyweights go back and forth and collar ties, they should rewind this tape and, and check out that first period. Or I would, I would, I should say the first half of this match. No, you're right. It's been some beautiful, 
beautiful action. One point separates them as they near the end of the second period. I mean, it's really controlled things with that underhook. He's got a really Another. nice position there. And there Ooh, he nice. uses it again. You know, I'll tell you. Oh, nice slide by. Beautiful by White. Wow. Unbelievable. He's got to attempt. He should attempt to get him down. He needs to keep that leg. He's got eight seconds. Don't give up any points right here. 5-4, beautiful shot by White. And, I, you know, I was just going to, I was just about to say, Hamida has such that beautiful, that underhook into a throw, throw by single. He was trying to get it, and just as he was trying to get it, White hits one of those patented, you know, high crotches and scores with it. And then, uh, you know, Hamida goes down, and he scoots behind him. You know, you know who was one of the best in the world at that? John Smith. Oh, my God, His head yeah. coach, his coach. Oh, you're not kidding you know, and, and Derek White for a big guy, I mean, I can't believe it. At my age, I would break a hip trying to do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I gotta keep myself from clapping and, no, he's gotta and be, plotting. He's gotta, it's such a great exactly. match. Exactly, you know, you find yourself, you know, mat side in these matches and you're kind of like, you just want to cheer for all the great moves. Either guy, it doesn't really matter, but either guy. But, you know, we got, got to focus in here. One point for Amita, ties it up, 5-5. Five, five. Little over a minute 30 left, Larry. I mean, this is just, this is the match of the, of the, uh, of the event so far. Yeah, yeah, you, you really don't expect this kind of action. I mean, I, I don't want to, I don't want to say that heavyweights can't do this, because they can, and you see it frequently, but uh, this match has been, it, Exceptional. Yeah. I agree. Look at that front headlock. He just dropped him. That's one of my favorite positions. See what he can do with Real it nice from here. Snap down. Controlling the mat area. But the head comes back out. He gets it. Got to be careful with a meat in here. He'll go for it. He'll, he'll lock that up and he'll go for it. A little judo action. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice little knee pick attempt by Derek White. Got that underhook. Right now, about 45 seconds left, 5-5. Five, five. I don't think riding time is a factor. Keep your eyes open now. 40 seconds left, something's gonna happen here. They may go into overtime, but the way they've been wrestling with the action and the energy that they've displayed so far, you can look forward to something happening here. 30 seconds. They stop the action, bring them back to the center. Will they take a risk here with 15, 15 seconds, seconds left? I, you know what? The way this match has been going, I wouldn't put it past these nope, guys. Nope, you're right. You know, to go for something with five seconds left. They're going to overtime, Nick. We've got an overtime match. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's the first match of the season, too. These yeah. guys, you know, listen, they're in great shape. You got your preseason, you know, nothing can simulate a no. real match because, you know, that nervous energy, the yes. whole build up to it, the walk out of the tunnel, you can't simulate that. It doesn't matter how many times you do it. You do get that, that little bit of, oh, almost a nice little drag by, by White. Amita continues with that underhook. White doesn't mind the overhook, and there's that same oh. high crotch. Here we go, here we go. White has to come up. He's got to keep the that corner. back straight. He's got to keep that back straight. He's got to work. Now he's now he's trying to get the angle. That's a good position to be in right there. He's got a nice the angle. He's trying to get to the other ankle. He turns oh. the other side. Nice way to finish for Derek White. That's an excellent match. Hey, listen. Even Amita losing that match, that was a great match for him to have early in the season. Absolutely. To have a match like that, that's going to help you. It's going to help you in March. But what a beast. Look at Derek White. He Boy, is a beast, You man. don't want to hang an underhook on that guy. I'm going to ask him. He's coming close to us. I'm going to ask him if I can borrow his arms and for the weekend. we'll be right back with more action.
Alexis Porter. We got on deck here. Yep, back to the freestyle style. Alexis Porter's been around the circuit. Yeah, she reached the finals in the uh, national championships last year. Lost a uh, tough match to the current world bronze medalist, Mallory Velty. So she knows what she's doing. Alexis Porter. And now Kings, Nicole Joseph, makes her appearance on the mat. She's moving up a weight, Nick. She's up at 143 pounds. Used to be at 136. Going up a weight class, that's pretty tough to do. It really is. And you know, sometimes you're just not acclimated to wrestling those, those bigger people. You know, so you have to get used to it. But you know what, a lot of these guys, in all fairness, Larry, a lot of these guys, they're wrestling with guys at different weights in the room. So, you know, they, they're pretty, but you're right. At, at this level, you know, sometimes those extra few pounds make a big difference. Joseph coming out to control that two on one. And hand fighting with Porter who's just kind of backing off and blocking off at this point. If she keeps doing that, the referee will warn her. And then if she keeps doing it, he'll warn her again, and then it's the 30-second shot clock. And that's what happened. The referee will try to get Porter to get her head up a little bit more, maybe take a little risk, open, be a little more open. Joseph continues to control with and the inside kick off the two on one. Controlling the mat area pretty effectively. Ooh. Porter trying to create an angle there. But you got to follow that up. Here we go. Another warning. So if Joseph can continue to control that two-on-one and control the mat area, it'll be, uh, it'll be Porter looking to get that one point off the shot clock. And referee's trying to make a decision what he's going to do. Right there, nice little rush in. Nicole Joseph almost had a chance to score right there and didn't capitalize, but, but Porter's not easy to finish on. I've seen her in, in, uh, at the U.S. Open, and I've seen her at a couple of different uh, Junior World Team trials, and she is very difficult to score on. Did you see that the referee awarded one point to uh, Joseph? Uh, she was on the shot clock. That's what yeah. happened. Yeah, it was a we, shot clock. We don't see all that here, yeah. so we can only assume that that's what it was. Yeah. He's trying to make a statement. He wants more action, yeah. and he's letting them know. And, and you know what? Uh, that's, the, that's the reality of the freestyle game. Yeah. This, they, they want action. They want to create. You know, sometimes you disagree with, you know, passivity, but uh, I'll tell you right now, it does light a flame, and it does get guys cooking and, or, or women cooking and trying to score. How about the women's team taking third in the world? Well... <laughs> Unbelievable performance yeah. really was. by the women's world team. And they, they still have a deep bench, oh, too. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, they sure do. We're always, with the women's teams, we're always in the upper 2-3 in the world, 1-2-3 in the world. And we, we have some incredible talent and nice attempt at a double by Porter. But uh, getting back to, uh, and that's the end of the period, 1-0 for Joseph at the end of the first. And just, you know, a lot of the, the women, I mean, we're deep. There's a lot of up-and-coming, uh, you know, women's wrestlers that, that are just real, you know, they're knocking it the, on the door. Well, it's a real treat is people should go to the Olympic Training Center in Colorado Springs, take that tour, and you end up in the uh, wrestling room. And if you, if you time it when the women's team is training it's really fantastic to see all the you know the t number ones the number twos the number threes and and the rest of the team 
uh, really training hard. It's harder, harder than the guys. Terry Steiner leading that program, oh. doing a heck of a job. The Steiner brothers know him well, good people, solid people, and, and, and good human beings, but, but wrestling. Oh, nice little, I don't even know what to call that. Nice double by Joseph on Porter. Finishes strong out of bounds, gets that two points. So he controlled that upper body until it w was so dominant that she could clear it and hit that double. And she drove through it. She didn't drive up to it. She didn't stop when she hit the leg. She drove through it, and that's a, that's a, that was a great finish by Joseph. Joseph isn't changing her strategy. She's right back to that two-on-one, controlling the upper body, controlling the mat area, controlling the pace. A minute 50 left for Porter to come back. She hasn't shown a whole lot of, uh, she hasn't created a lot of opportunity. She's got to change levels, create an angle, control the tie, and maybe turn this thing around. It's only 3-0. Ooh, Porter did a little club in there. But, you know, you gotta, you got to capitalize on those positions. And uh, so far, now Joseph's back to that two-on-one. Safe. She's pitching a shutout, Nick. Yeah, and, you know, watch. She's using that. Oh, nice, nice double. She hit that. She got that rushing. She had that rushing, and she, she drove it right into a double leg. Now she's going. Now she's got to finish. Oh, she tried the big throw, and it backfired on her. It backfired on wow. her. This could be a turning point. See how they call this. It's they call it two. two. Take down, which is legit because okay. she, they can't give her back points over that porter because, you know, it was off of Joseph's move. But um, right now we're in a sticky situation uh, for, Por for Joseph. But Porter's coming back, and she's looking like she wants to win this thing. And if anyone can do it, she can do it. She has the talent. She's explosive, and she can make things happen very quickly. Well, she's not in the two-on-one now. She's not in the Russian. So maybe she's in a position that she likes a little better. Now, she has the two-on-one. Well, that changed. Just about 15 seconds left. Nice. Oh, no. Oh, she's a counter wrestler. Wow. Wow. Wins it at the end with a beautiful movie. I don't think you got confirmation on that, though. I think they're going to look at that one again. They're going to look at that again. That's that's close. That's close enough to look at again. But either way, you cut it. This was an amazing match. Great finish. Alexis Porter was uh, just kind of the snake in the grass, waiting for her opportunity to counter. Unbelievable. Two, two nice counters. And uh, no one's going to challenge that. It's hard to believe the way that finished. I, I, you know, I thought Joseph I mean, was wrestling a real solid technical match and, and had to win. And 